All right, so we're off to the second round at USA. I've been struggling to figure out how to make these guys competitive at USA. They're really slow. But we've upped it, maxed out. Some of them are 125. Nothing's below 100. They're all 100% or higher. I think 106 might be the lowest. 106 percent is the lowest top is 125 that's as fast as you can make them it's so like they didn't write the uh algorithm right here so this this number here you're seeing is their relative skill compared to the other drivers in the field like so they're 90 percent better than the lowest guy which is big drilled at 77 chris davis 73 that's not what they're set up. That's just their relative rating compared to the drivers in the skill or in the field. So you can kind of click here. Driver skill relative to other drivers in the roster. Skill determines the driver's corner speed and driving line. So he's 90%. He's the top 90%. 96% aggression. I don't know how old Tony was. I just guessed 40. He's probably 40, I'm guessing. Could have went through and Facebooked them all and figured out their real ages and stuff. We just we guesstimated. So this you can go in, you can tweak each individual one, so you can just keep making your AI roster better. But I can tell you, we could sit here and wait for their qualifying times to populate, which it will here in like a minute or so. It's going to show their qualifying times, and I'll tell you whether or not they're going to be fast. Based on their qualifying time, so I don't know how to make them any faster. I mean, they're max. They're in between like 106 to 125 percent. As soon as the time populates, I'll tell you if it's a good fast time or not. So they needed about four tenths from the last races where they they needed to pick up. Definitely going to be a work in progress. To get them up to speed to make it competitive. But if we make it competitive, then we can... Maybe we'll do some, like, TV broadcast style things with AI. Alright, so now they're way fast. Like, this is where I was last race. Round in here. And I was four tenths faster than them. Now they're, now they're fast. Now they're moving. Because it's the 125 rating is a cheater rating on that when you're developing your AI system, like or your AI roster. So we're trying to find the balance. Green, green, green. Okay, here comes your first time lap. For some reason, the AI system really likes Tony's name. I don't know why, but they're favoring him on being fast because, like, Looney, Kyle Dudley, Chris Amos, all of them should be one more lap. the same. Right now, we're P11. Just mad enough to corner try to find a little bit of time we need. Alright, there's the ticket flag. P2. Alright, so we've definitely figured out how to make them faster. It's good. Now it might actually be a decent race. Line up on the outside. Our first go at this, right we were we're putting plenty of fuel four and a half the seconds rate. out by lap 13. We had to go back, readjust, and start again. Then we were still fast. We were going to go back, readjust it again. But we'll see if we're, if we're close here on this one. That 26 car does look good, though. That Budweiser paint scheme, that thing looks good.
Well, it looks like the top five is going to be Tony Howes with David Lamb, Doug Morgan, WJ Altizer, and Tim Bill. We got JC Morgan, Ricky Howe, John Hall, Jackson Lamb, Kyle Dudley, James Folds, Vince Bill, Scott Howe, Chris Amos. I'm not sure why that AI is not doing better. He's one of the highest ranked AIs on the thing. One left to green. We'll just have to let it play out to how it works out. We're running these top, the top AIs are on cheater difficulty. The rest are pro or higher. Pro higher than cheater. Or pro alien cheater. That's what's through the field right now. Based on iRacing's AI uh, setup. Um, cheater Get probably ready. won't wear the tires out, I'm guessing. Post car is off, time to do your job. Green flag, green flag. Keep road is now open. Oh, we got a horrible start. Inside. Doug really didn't want us to have a chance to get down, did he? So that's, that's why they're so Inside. slow. They guys got them programmed to run right on the Still bottom. There at the, bottom. the next car's the leader. Still there, hold your line. Clear inside. I'm saying they're slow, but I'm driving the wheels off of them, trying to keep up with them. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Still there at the bottom. Clear inside, inside, clear inside, car inside. Stay high, there's a car on the low side. Still there, inside. Nothing's wearing on my driver door. Still there, hold your line. You're back in second. Clear inside. Inside. Clear. Outside. Clear outside if you want it. I don't think they, uh, they gotta work on their program. It'll just a tad just bit more lack of for them here at this track. They're not, they're not smooth enough. They yank me down the straightaway. Look at the run he gets down the straightaway. That was your fastest lap of the session. Twenty-three five oh four. Respectable time. Looks like we're, we're catching the leader a little bit. The leader is running 23.605. Gotta drop some defense there. <laughs> so he's getting a good run off the corner. Draw him right up here to the leader. I don't even have to drive real cars, like real racers, this hard.
We were driving the hell out of this thing and just barely holding on to second. The leader just did us 23.705. Looks like we're starting to make some ground again. That's, that's such a great tool for, for new to eye racing. Just trying to get better. Crank your AI. How to chase them down. Be like us and get your ass kicked by them. Makes you gain ground off, off the corner. Lost it all right there. This is crazy how hard I'm having to drive. I think we found the setting finally. Tried their line, don't like it. Too loose. Car inside, clear inside. Oof. The leader just did us 23.837. Dude, this is intense. Trying everything I can to gain some ground. Twenty more left. Just come by. Inside, clear inside. We just can't make any ground up. Come on, stick!
The leader is running 23.90. Inside, clear. Looks like we're making a little ground on the leader, but Doug is still breathing down our necks. We're just drifting into a corner at this point. Ice skating. We're just gonna let Doug go here. Inside. Still there at the bottom. Clear. See if we can catch him and slow him up if they get side by side. Outside. Stay low. Clear outside if you want it. Outside. Clear. to give it some space to see if like that he'll actually run him down Ten to go this time by the leader just did a 24.069 We have destroyed our tires. <laughs> Come on, catch him. Let you buy. I think we might be faster now. Get there and put the pressure on him. Car outside. Still there, hold your line. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Clear up top, outside. Keep low. Clear outside if you want to. It was taking too long. You're back in second. Doing great. Really good job. I'm not letting him back by. Five. Five to go. Car inside. Clear. Podium is looking good. The leader just did a 24.085. We ran a couple hundreds faster.
Ah. I'm gonna get him. Two left to go. Two to go. Last lap. Car outside. Clear outside if you want it. Clear outside if you want it. Outside. Keep low. Outside is clear. Are we going to be able to do this? Car inside. Clear. I first went on the cheater difficulty for AI. Ooh, what a race. Man, that is... That was hard work. You it's harder than I've ever worked it. for a street start win in USA. That is nuts. That is just... Damn good fun right there. You know, it, you know, it's just racing its AI, but that was damn good fun. I don't, I don't know how you can have a much better race than that. I only have one lap. This is the one that mattered, though. Oh, man. Good times. All right. Let's see what, uh... Let's see what it has to say to us. David Lamb gets first win in Street Stock Rookie Series at USA International Speedway. That's two because I guess that's the second one I started. It was a big day for David Lamb USA International Speedway as they took the checkered flag in the number seven Street Stock Panther C1. A time of 23.389 and qualifying fell just short of the pole position. Gave the team good momentum going into the race. When the green flag dropped, nobody had anything to hold off Lamb. Bullshit. We didn't get there to the last lap. As they won the battle of attrition by wrestling away the top spot, the top five running order was David Land, Tony Hasman, Doug Morgan, Tim, Bill, John Hall. And a couple words for me, apparently. How about that? Woo! Lamb screamed after getting out of the car before pushing away over Porter's microphone. The mic. We don't need no stinking mic. Woo! David Lamb's first place position earning 15 points. David Lamb is now second in Street Stock Rookie Series season with 24 points. There are four points between them and the highest spot. So a long road ahead with 10 events left in the Street Stock Series. One lap left. They let 30 down. We took it, took it on the last one. That was awesome. That was good fun. Definitely, uh, definitely getting them figured out. But see how I have it set now. 100 to 125. We had the Arca 7 to 90, which... We've learned a lot since we started that. But as always, catch you in the next one.